Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this tournament final is scheduled for three three-minute rounds. And introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, he now runs his record to 34 wins with seven losses, 14 of those wins by knockout. At five feet, eight and a half inches, 1.74 meters, he weighed in at 142 pounds, 64.5 kilos. Fighting out of the Ukraine, he is the former glory featherweight champion of the world. Here again, say hey, Adam Chu. His opponent fighting out of the white corner now with a record of 155 wins with 35 losses, two bouts scored even, and 25 career knockouts. He stands five feet seven inches tall, 1.71 meters, and he weighed in at fight time at 142 pounds, 64.4 kilos. Back tonight, fighting out of Thailand. Ladies and gentlemen, here again, Pet Palamrung Kiatmukau. The third man inside the ropes, your glory referee, is Paul Nichols. Gents, you understand the rules that you're fighting to. Protect yourself at all times, obey my commands at all times. Do you have any questions? Tournament final, so I expect you to fight like final. Touch gloves if you want. Break. Judge. 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 Timekeeper. It's the moment you fight your whole life for. Ready? A chance fight. at a world title. Adam Chuk in the black gloves. Petch Panamarong in the white. Both southpaws, both very experienced. The advantage in kickboxing rules goes to Adam Chuk. And remember, Sidichai, the current lightweight champion of the world, said, listen, Petch Panamarong is better than me pound for pound. I expect him to win this tournament, and then I expect him to go on and win the title. High praise from one of Glory's best. Yeah, I'm curious to see how Pepanamarong takes this fight, where I'm, I'm guessing Adam Chuk's gonna try to use his boxing a little bit more. Adam Chuk, who's very soft-spoken, but also very determined in our fighters' meeting, he was adamant that he's ready for another title opportunity. Foot. Nice jab that led to a right hand from Adam Chu. Adam Chu picking up the pace right from the get-go here, wasting no time. And we saw Adam Chuk's uh, training partner and teammate, uh, Myrtle Grunhart, have a, an impressive win over Tong Chai. So they know how to fight these Thai fighters. Myrtle Gruenhart in attendance here tonight. Just stopped by and said hello to me and Joe. Coming off a big win over a Thai fighter himself. And a nice one-two there from Adam Chuk. The Panamurung's trying to use his kicks to counter, which is a good job. Right. No clinch. Fight. Joe, who do you give the edge to in this fight if you were forced to pick a winner? That's what I'm doing. I'm forcing you to pick a winner. Wow. Uh, that, that's tough. Uh, honestly, it's very tough, but I could give a slight advantage to Adam Chuck just uh, just on the basis that I feel his boxing is a little bit more sharp. And a right hand back pitch Panamarung up. And now Sergei Adam Chuck stepping forward, trying to make the most of this situation. Well, Adam Chuck's biggest advantage is in boxing, so I need to see. Um, if he's going to get in that range and start mixing up levels with his punches. What? Left hand, a windmill-like left hand by Adam Chuk. Break, break, break! What? So if Adam Chuk has the edge with Punching, would it be to his advantage to get as close as he can to Petch Panamarong? Petch Panamarong is experienced, so that's why he's going to constantly clinch on the inside. He's not just going to let Adam Chuck box with him. He's going to clinch up and take away the hands. A good opening round for the Ukrainian, Sergei Adam Chuk, the first of three rounds in our featherweight tournament final. We look at our total strikes, Joe. Adam Chuk landing 30, Petch Panamarong 27.
And it's showing, uh, Fight Metric is showing that Sergei Adachuk is slightly more active and he's been landing well with his boxing. But at the end of that round, we saw Pippenenberg land some good low kicks. So he's probably going to keep up with that as the rounds and the fight progresses. But I still have to give that early first round uh, to Adam Chuk. There's the right hand that kind of sent Pitch Panamurum backwards. A little bit off balance shot, but you can see that Sergei Adamchuk stepped up his aggression after landing that punch. Yeah, he's got to use his boxing to try to shut down the kicking of Pitch Panamurum. To me, this fight is about boxing versus kicks. Fight! Round two, six minutes left to determine a number one contender in the featherweight division. There's that left hook. Left kick that's become the favorite weapon of the Thai fighter. And Adam Chuk just looks bigger and stronger in there right now. Yeah, I don't think uh, Pepanamurum cuts too much weight, but he just ate a, a high kick from Adam Chuk. There's that low kick Pepanamurum started throwing at the end of the first round. I'm thinking that's his best shot. Typically, when a fighter tries to catch the kick, is that because he's reading the telegraph or the fact that perhaps it's hurting him a lot and he's trying to stop it? Uh, so many different ways. A lot of fighters have something called sticky hands, so when kicks come, they automatically catch and counter. So it all depends, but good right hook from Adam Chuk. Certainly was. And again, when it comes to punches, Adam Chuk is better. But there's that kicking up <laughs> but of kicks, the yeah. Kicks, it's probably the opposite. You can see the redness all over the body right now of Adam Schuch. And a nice push kick there from Kat Mukau, who's landed 19 total kicks compared to nine for Serhey. Right hand, a slapping right hand, or left hand rather, from Serhey Adam Schuch. They're exchanging one for one, punch versus kick. Adam Chuk might take one kick, but he's going to deliver a punch of his own. And that's how you beat fighters who, uh, these Thai fighters are really good. You can't let them establish their range and their outside kicks. You got to step forward and counter right back. Try to catch and shoot with that, and then a takedown for Petch Manaru. You're not allowed to dump your opponent. You're allowed to off-balance him, but you need to throw a strike immediately. Adam Chuk with a nice combination. There's a quick right hand. I'd like to see Adam Chuk maybe mix in some uppercuts. He's throwing a lot of hooks. Maybe on the inside, a nice uppercut hook combination, and then follow a kick of his own. Should Pet Panamarum go with more right kicks? It seems like the left every time Serhe is ready for. Well, he's landing good low kicks, and he just needs to keep switching up levels, switching up which side he throws. Mix it up to the leg, hit the body, mix the head. Look at the welts on Adam Schuch's back. This is definitely a better round for Pet Panamarum. You can see toe marks. That foot coming all the way around to his back and leaving an imprint. When you look, look at statistics this close, this fight is extremely close. Who'd you give that second round to? Well, I'm going to give that second round to Pepanema, landing. Uh, I feel he's doing a little bit more damage and landing more clean strikes with his kicking. Very close round, still could go either way, but to make this fight interesting, I'm thinking it's one round apiece. As they say then, it all comes down to this. Round three. Three minutes between each of these fighters and a shot at glory gold. And the man, the winner will fight, Ruben Van Roosmalen out of the Netherlands, chomping at the bit, waiting to get in there. I guarantee you, if they gave him the option, he'd step in right now and fight somebody. Oh, he is, and you can see how focused he is. He's really keeping an eye on this fight. And be interesting to see what his thoughts are on this fight. Round three now. Oh, oh, oh. 
Pence right. Panamarok said the whole reason he's here is to win Fight. the goal. Adam Chuck just came in and threw a lead uppercut. Pretty sure Big Mike would have called for that. And remember, both of these men fought a three-round fight earlier tonight, so this is their sixth round of competition. Break. Let's see, it's Pepanamaro continually coming forward. Maybe he feels he needs to press the action in this round, which is a good strategy because this fight's very close. And look at that. To the head, it's all Adamchuk. To the body, it's all Pepanamaro. Constantly kicking and chopping away on that body of Adamchuk. But Adamchuk's not just going to eat a body kick, he's going to throw some head punches of his own. Panaroon trying to do some damage with knees in the clinch. Break! Both of you. Both. Both. Break! The last time we saw Adam Chuk, he lost in a tournament. We'd hate to see it happen again. Well, there seems to be a lot of clinching in this third round. Well, he reared back and fired that left hand. And it, looks, to get the timing right. Right. Well, it's, it looks like Pepanamarung is the one initiating the clinch. Fight. Which I'm sure he may get a warning very soon from referee Paul Nichols. Right. There's a knee during the clinch. Both men have to be Fight. getting close to exhaustion. Oh, some spectacular offense attempted by Adam Chuck. Did not work Fight. out. Good head defense by Pep Panamaro. Good body kick from Pep Panamaro that time with the right leg. A minute to go. It's crunch time. A Superman punch from Adam Chu. Break. This will be a very interesting 45 seconds of this third round. To me, it's still up in the air. The exchange kicks down low. A punch lands for Sir Hay. And a body kick for Pet Panamaro. Good effort from both these fighters. It's a very high level fight. When you have one fighter who's good at one weapon and the fighter who's good at the other, it's, it's a very strategic fight. Certainly a far cry from that heavyweight fight we saw, where I believe Guto Innocent may have landed eight strikes. Surrey Adamchuk's landed 72. Kiat Mukau has landed 70. Fight. And this coming off of a fight earlier tonight for both of these men. And a left hand lands for Adam Chuk. Both men feel they got the job done. Joe, who is going to advance to face Van Roosmalen for the title? Well, I'm very confused, and I'm not even going to put myself on this spot for this one. He's riding the fence. What a shock. The decision when we return. Let's jump right back into our highlights from our featherweight contender tournament final, Joe. Yeah, and this fight was all about the boxing of Adam Chuck versus the kicking of Kiat Mukau, which was a lot of back and forth combinations, both landing some good shots, both being active, both being countering back, um, both landing just as much, which makes this fight very difficult to score. I looked back at Robin Van Roosmalen after to see what he thought, and he thinks this fight could even go an extra round. It was just that close. Let's look at our fight statistics, and it's pretty darn close. Look at that. 72 landed for Pet Panamarong, 74 landed for Adam Chuk. So it just comes down to whether the judges put more of an emphasis on punches or kicks. That's really what this boils down to. Yeah, and it was the punches to the head uh, for Adam Chuck and Kiat Mukau keep landing those good, solid body kicks. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of kickboxing, we go to the judges' scorecards. Here now are the totals from our five judges seated ringside. They score this bout 29 28, Pen Panam Room. 29-28, Adam Chuk. And our three remaining judges, 30-27, 30-27, and 29-28, a split decision for your winner, and now contender tournament champion, Pet Panaroo Kiat Mukau.
Here to present the Ramon Deckers commemorative trophy, our head of talent operations, Mr. Cor Hemmers, joined by our chief executive officer, Mr. John Franklin. Congratulations to Pet Panorun Kiat Mukau. What do you think of those scorecards, Joe? A couple 30-27s in there. Yeah, I couldn't have seen a 30-27, and I kind of agree with Robin when I asked him. An extra round would have been nice to have a definitive winner. Sir, hey, Adam Shook, he's already headed to dodge out of the ring, very frustrated. He is gonzo, but standing alone with a shot against Robin Van Roosmalen is the professor, Pet Panorun Kiat Mukau. Here's Tim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, while we have your attention here in the ring, it was brought to my attention that we have all of our glory champions with us tonight. First, our light heavyweight champion, Artem Vahitov, is here in the ring with us. Our heavyweight champion, Rico Verhoeven. Our middleweight champion, Jason Wilness. And he'll be competing for the vacant featherweight belt. Former featherweight champion Roman Van Roosmalen is here with us. He'll fight for the belt again in the Netherlands coming up in May. Give them all a big hand if you can. Guys, come together, please. It's a who's who of glory. And Kiat Mukau with a chance to join those champions very soon. It seems like we'll be hearing from him and Roosmalen in just a couple months. Yeah.